This is an intermediate post-workout stretch. Let's get to the floor and start out with our child's pose. I'm here with AJ and Ashley because it's always great to work out with friends. Get into a hands and knees position and then just go ahead and sit back on your heels. Start out just sitting lightly and then as gently as you can push back sitting deeper onto your heels and really feeling the stretch in the shoulders and upper back. When you're working on flexibility, holding stretches for 15 to 20 seconds is great. Focus on your breathing, nice deep breaths. From here, let's go ahead and push up onto hands and knees position. From here, tuck your toes under, lift your hips, push back onto your heels into a downward dog position. It's okay if your heels don't quite touch the floor. Just work on that hamstring flexibility. Eyes are looking back behind you. Just relaxing the head, relaxing, letting everything stretch out. The longer you're in the pose, the more you can push back, really push back into the heels. From downward dog position, go ahead, push your hips forward so you're back into a plank position. Lift up one knee and then cross it across to your opposite elbow and just hold right there. Your core is engaged and you should feel a nice stretch down the side of your body. Just hold, remembering to breathe through it. Slowly bring that foot back down and cross over to the other side. Holding that stretch. Come back into plank position, drop down into your hands and knees, and then bend the elbows, tummies on the floor and push up into up dog. Hands are just to the outside of the chest and you should really feel this stretch in your lower back. Just holding that position. Great job. Holding two more seconds. Go ahead, bring your chest down to the floor. Place one arm out in front, rest your head down, Go ahead and bring one heel to your glute, hold on to your foot, and then just really pull and feel that stretch down the quad. This is a great stretch because you can kind of feel it in your hip flexor too. Awesome. Now go ahead and switch legs. One leg comes down, other leg goes up and let's stretch out the other side. Having a balanced body is so important. What you do on one side, you must always just go ahead and do on the other. Stretching is a great time to focus on your breathing. Nice deep breaths. Now go ahead and slowly release the foot. We're gonna push up and then go into a seated position. Lay down on your back. Lift up one leg and cross it over just above the knee. Reach through, hold onto the back of the hamstring and feel that stretch. You should feel the stretch in the outside of the glute. And if you find that you have tight hamstrings, Go ahead and straighten one leg up and you should then feel the stretch down the back of your hamstring. Now always come out of a stretch the same way you went in, first bending the leg so it's bent, slowly taking it down, uncross, and then let's recross on the other side. Take the hands through, lift up, Feel your hip opening up, focusing on deep breaths. 
Then go ahead and add in that hamstring stretch, lifting that leg up, flexing at the toe. Great job. Leg comes down, other leg comes down. Doing a post-workout stretch is great for relieving tension in your muscles and also for relieving stress. So if any time during the day you feel stressed, go ahead and do this little workout. <laughs> 